Hey, Taylor. What's up, buddy? Oh, nothing. Just same old, same old. Hey, I've been thinking, if you were to ask a girl out, how would you respond? All you gotta do is look like me. Ha ha. Very funny. <laughs> Mikey, I brought you and the girls some cakes. Ooh, they look so good. Any chocolate? Uh, how could I forget chocolate? Wait, you always forget the chocolate. Like, always. All right, the shops, the geek is up. What do you want from me? Uh, nothing. I just remembered for once. Mm-hmm. All right, Emil. Let's take a walk. All right, do you want to tell me what's going on? The girls can't hear you. Why are you putting me on the spot like this? You remembered my favorites. Our short time in high school together, you would always do something you would know I liked when you wanted something from me, or you were hiding something. Isn't that right? You are gonna let me live that down, are ya? No. Now, what do you want? Hi, Keith. Hmm. I was thinking. Would you care to go out with me? Wait. For what? You heard me. Would you like to go out on an actual, you know, date? This is really sad to know. I've only reunited with you recently, and I'm still upset how you almost closed down this one thing. You and Hunter survived, did you not? That's not the point. My answer is no. Besides, I don't date the enemy. Thanks for the cakes. Yikes, man. That sucks. DUDE, WERE YOU FOLLOWING ME?! Following isn't the correct term. More or less, I was observing. Following, stalking, observing... THAT'S THE SAME THING! You should've told me how cute she was. I could've broken her in for you. If you think I would, you're wrong. I know exactly what you're like, Taylor. Besides, don't you have a girlfriend? Who? The Australian girl? Yeah. Cora. I don't think she would agree with that statement, dude. Besides, I could lose with Jeanette anyways. That rich girl ex of yours? You're sick. Only wanting to help out what's best for you, bro. Now, I have some pointers. I don't want your help. Have it your way. Hi, Key. Can you make some of your stir-fry? I'm so hungry. What? You stuffed your face with those cakes and you're still hungry? I'm Celeste. I'm always hungry. Alright. Alright, well, I don't have anything to make stir-fry at the house, so we'll need to go to get groceries. Yay! Hey, um, what was up with Emil earlier? Oh, nothing. He just had a question to ask me. Oh, did he now? Yeah, nothing important. Yeah, as if I believe that. Don't get started with me, Celeste. 
Can I just not state a simple fact? Ugh, but you haven't stated said point. Oh, right. Don't you two have, like, things for each other? Celeste, shush! Nah. I don't state the enemy. Oh, but you befriend the enemy? Cat is out of the bag, Heike. You want to be the missus to his mister. I, 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 shut up or I won't feed you. No way, sister. Yes way. <clears throat> Going. I'm sorry, miss. I was just blinded. Uh, blinded? Blinded by what? By your friend's beauty. Oh! Here, let me help you up. Have heard of me. My name is Taylor. What is yours? Mm, my name is, uh, Heike. Heike Payton. And how about these maidens with you? Watch yourself. I'm Celeste. And I'm Rose. Who knew I'd meet such beautiful women? Looks like you ladies are heading home after a hard day. Any plans for dinner, my ladies? I was going to get groceries to cook. Stop right there, my delicate flower. You've been working so hard. Our friend is having a little party tonight. Who wouldn't mind if I bring gorgeous ladies over? Um, I don't know. Heike, let's go! Huh? Duh, free food! Who needs stir-fry when you're being offered free food? You've been working hard on this, Heike. Maybe it's a good time to scale back and relax, you know, having someone else cook instead? You know, you do have good points, but only for a while, though. Awesome, then let's get going. Oh. My. God. This is Emile's house. He must know. He lured us. With free food. Ladies, is there a problem? Do you think he knows? I would like to think he doesn't. Uh, it would be rude just to say something came up. Let's also consider the fact we are also in a huddle. Hey, Taylor. Crap! Sorry, bud. I decided to bring some friends over. You jerk. Why did you invite the girls again? To prove my methods have results. Uh -huh. We're planning to create a little harem. We're, we're gonna. Uh, wait, so, so you mean the, cu the couple thing where, like, the hugging and the kissing? Rose! Oh, oh, wait, we're gonna. No, 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 no. I, I have seen enough anime to know what a harem is, and I, I am not dealing with it. No way. I don't. Uh, your methods get results, huh? Hey, they said they were cool creating a harem. Look, this isn't exactly a party. I only said that to attract you here. It's an intervention. I see. Wait, Cora, this was a joke! Likely story harlots. Some people never change. 
Oh no, 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 no! This is happening again! This is quite a mess you made here, Taylor. I didn't know Cora was here. Okay, regardless if she's here or not, you trying to hide your catches of the day from her is not cool, buddy. And the fact you did it so willingly, which is even worse, knowing my relationship with those girls. Sheesh, it's not that big a deal, Emil. No. Now go fix things with Cora. She's clearly hurt by you. Chill, chill. I will talk to Cora. Good! What are these? The chocolate truffles. She's already ha ate half of them waiting for you. Where is that jerk? People tend to chew their food before they swallow. I'm sorry, Emil. This jerk is just so frustrating. You just gotta make him commit, Cora, okay? Look, Taylor can be a pretty sweet guy. Once he's in a relationship. Kinda. Kinda? Taylor is one of those guys. Then do I really want to commit to someone like him? I can. Do you like him? Yes, of course I do. I'm also a little confused. Confused? Why are you being so nice to me? I did terrible things in high school. Do you think I was any better? I'm gonna get that. You stay here and work out what I just said. No worries, I'll just lint roll myself before I go home. <laughs> it must be horrible living with Jeanette. It's not bad, but we found these gorgeous houses right next to each other since Amelia and I want to adopt cats. <laughs> Alright, well don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else today. Oh no, I'm I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to. It was... A little draught of food didn't hurt anyone. I'm very sorry, sir. I'll get you a fresh dessert right away. Take your time, beautiful. Rushing is how you get hurt. You have a little spot on your cheek. This cafe is full of beautiful women today. May I ask what your name is? Oh, it's Cora. That's a lovely name. How do we put that tea on my tab? Your tab? Yeah, but you're a cake. On me. I would love that, but before we do, you haven't said your name. Sorry, I was distracted by your beauty. My name's Taylor. I don't think she meant it, Cora. Sounds like she was just trying to play with Emil. I have to agree with Emilia, Cora. I thought he really liked me. Like, really wanted me. But I, I guess I was wrong. Ooh, I have an idea. Let's sabotage Taylor. Even if Heike wasn't playing a game, it would certainly drive her away from him. No, let him come back when he wants to stop playing these stupid boy games and wants to commit to me. That is him now. I'm not ready to talk to him. I'll take care of him. You go to bed, Cora. Thanks, Amelia. I'm going to sleep. 
Good night, night Cora. Cora. Hey, Emil. Go away. You should have loved me better than you should have loved me.